in the first part of this series we looked at mcp the model context protocol as a general open standard that lets ai agents talk to systems in a consistent and secure way now let's see how this becomes real inside an erp system specifically microsoft dynamics 365 finance and operations what is the dynamics 365 erp mcp server microsoft has introduced a new dynamics 365 erp mcp server that brings mcp directly into the finance and operation world in simple words it's an mcp server that sits in front of your d65 fno environment and exposes erp capabilities as tools that ai agents can use instead of building custom apis or one of integrations you let an mcp compatible agent like copilot studio or github copilot connect to this erp mcp server and work with d65 almost like a real user how does it actually work in D65? Think about a typical D65 FNO user. They open a menu item like all vendors. They filter the list. They open a form. They fill fields. They click buttons like post, validates, or confirm. The Dynamics 65 ERP MCB server exposes a set of generic tools that let an AI agent do the same steps. These are few examples like find menu item, find the red menu item, Open menu item, open the page, filter form, filter grid, narrow down the records, set control value, fill in the fields, invoke action, press buttons like post, confirm, etc. So instead of having a special API for create purchase order, another one for release sales order, another one for approve invoice, etc. The agent simply drives the normal D65 forms using these tools exactly like a trained user would. Let's take a simple scenario in procurement. A purchasing manager types into an AI agent, create a purchase order for vendor US003 with item D001, quantity 100, delivery next week, and send for confirmation. Behind the scenes, the agent connects to the Dynamics 65 ERP MCB server. It uses find menu item to locate the purchase order. It uses open menu item to open the PO form. It calls set control value to set vendor, item, quantity, delivery date. It uses invoke action to click confirm or workflow submit. All of this happens through MCP without you writing a custom API or power automate flow. The MCP server abstracts D65's UI and business logic into a format AI can work with. Why this is powerful? One of the most powerful aspects of the Dynamics 65 ERP MCP server is it's dynamic. The MCP server doesn't just hard code a fixed set of actions. It reads your actual forms, security roles, configurations, extensions, and personalizations, and builds the context for the agent on the fly. That means if you add a field to a form, the agent can see and use it. If you personalize a workspace, the agent can work with that view. If you extend business logic with custom classes and exposes them as AI tools, the agent can call them via find actions and invoke action. In short, your customizations become AI accessible automatically, as long as they follow the supported patterns. Now let's talk about security and governance, which is critical for ERP. Because this is ERP, security is non-negotiable. The MCP server respects D65 security roles. Example, if the agent is authenticated as a user, with only the purchasing agent role, find menu item only returns menu items that role can see. Form data, fields, and actions are filtered based on that role. If the agent tries to call something it doesn't have access to, the request is rejected. Let's talk about key implications for ERP and the 65 FNO. For business teams, the MCP server means you can describe a task in plain language and an AI agent can execute it in the 65 for you. Repetitive tasks like close these POs, update all pending invoices with X values, recalculate charges can be delegated to AI. You get guided help. The agent can navigate the system, explain where data comes from, or show you how something is done. This changes the role of the user from clicking to supervising. For the 65 functional consultant, MCP is a big shift. Business requirements might now be phrased as what should the agent do if rather than just what should the user do. Consultants who understand both business process and MCP-based automation will be in very high demand. It helps development towards AI-ready ERP rather than traditional integration heavy ERP. If you design it well, MCP can unlock massive productivity gains. But if you give it too much power without guardrails, it can become a risk. 
so governance and security must grow together with the technology to sum it up mcp gave us a standard way for ai to talk to systems the dynamic c65 erp mcp servers brings that power right into finance and operations it lets ai agents navigate forms execute business logic and follow your security roles almost like a digital super user that never gets tired for erp teams this isn't just another integration feature it's is the beginning of ai native erp